So today I am doing another makeup tutorial and it's on the one that I'm wearing right now So I did this reverse winged eyeliner thing using kajal and it's for all of you girls who love wearing kajal on their lower lashes I haven't done that in the longest time and I love a winged liner So I thought you know what let me just reverse it and try something new and I hope you guys like it um, Yeah, this is the finished look. I love it. It's very wearable if you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel please click on that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that you are notified whenever I upload a new video I am trying my best to upload as many videos as I can because I have been lacking quite a bit so thank you so much you guys and let's get started so I'm starting off with my base first and I'm going to use the body shop uh, fresh nude foundation. I'm in the shade Atlas Dunes. I'm just going to apply that all over my face. What I like about this foundation is how light it is. It has a pretty decent coverage and um, it has a very dewy finish. So I think this would suit dry skin or normal skin very well. And it actually looks very nice on my skin as well, which is like oily to combination. And I also really like that the range has a very good color um, selection. You can get an exact shade match. So to highlight and contour my face, I'm going to use the pack concealer sticks. Uh, I am going to use a much lighter shade for highlight. This is in the shade number L11 and I'm going to use this uh, shade called D31 to contour I think it's one of the perfect shade uh, for Indian skin tone to contour with it's very beautiful and these uh, sticks are very blendable as well so I'm going to start with the highlight first I'm going to like draw a triangle underneath my eyes And then basically just use it onto the center of my face. Then I'm going to use the same brush that I used for my foundation. I love this brush so much. I am using a much lighter uh, concealer than what I usually do because I really want uh, this area to stand out. Before I move on to contouring, I am going to set the highlight first and for that I am going to use my Johnson's Baby Powder. I really started enjoying using this. I think it just does the job so well. I don't have to use a lot of it and yeah, and it smells really nice. So I've just taken a little bit onto my hand and then I'm just going to dab the brush and apply it wherever I've applied the highlighter. Now I'm going to go in with the contouring. I'm just going to start from where my earlobes, so like extending it here towards the corner of my mouth. And then I'm going to start blending this upwards. Same thing on to the other side. I'm also going to take this onto my forehead. And lastly, I'm going to contour my nose. I'm going to use the same brush. I'm just pinching it. This, this works fine. That's it. I am now just going to set this using bronzer. I'm going to use this one that I've really started liking since I've used this in my five product makeup challenge. It's from Lakme. This is their Moonlit Highlighter. And I'm just going to take this side of it and apply that right on top of the contouring that we did.
this is going to set the concealer and it's also going to add a little bit more of like warmth onto my face so I'm going to do my blush and highlighter after I'm done with the eyes. I just wanted to get over with the contouring. For eyes, let's start with eyebrows. And this is something that I have been really, really enjoying. I love this. It is expensive, but totally worth it. I love this so much. It's from Benefit. And this is their Goof Proof uh, Brow Pencil in the shade number 6. It comes with a spoolie on one end, like so. And then it comes with an angled brush tip and it's really soft um, works very well and just you can blend it very easily apply very easily I love how soft and pigmented and waxy it is it's also very long lasting I'm done with the eyebrows, now I'm just going to highlight the arc a little bit uh, using this highlighter from PAC. This is their Adore Your Highlight. It comes in like a twist out sort of highlighter and I love using this especially like on the bridge of my nose or underneath. It's a very subtle highlight, that's why I like to use this. It can act as a base for any other powder that you're applying later. So for my eyes today, it's going to be pretty interesting because I'm going to do a reverse winged eyeliner. So with that, I mean the um, winged liner is going to be on my lower lash line instead of like drawing a wing on my upper lash line. Um, it's going to be pretty intense. So for those of you who like a cold rimmed eye, like, so for that I'm going to use this Plum Kajal. This is their Nature Studio um, Kajal. <clears throat> really like this because um, it's quite soft so it's easy to draw a winged liner with this Kajal. So I'm actually going to start from my upper lash line like here so that I get the rough idea of where I want the wing to go. something like this and then pull it downwards and then I'm gonna go from here and join the wing like so it's very difficult for me to talk while I'm drawing a wing liner so I guess you guys have to just see and I hope I don't go out of focus because I tend to move a lot when I'm doing winged liners Now I'm going to thicken that line up. So I just filled the outer corner. I'm actually taking a Q-tip and just rounding up the inner corner because I don't want it to be too sharp. I want to keep the look very wearable. Just want it to be a simple reverse winged liner. Now I'm just going to apply mascara onto my upper lashes and then I'm going to tight line it. But first I'm going to curl my lashes. And for mascara I am going to take this Bobbi Brown one. It's called Eye Opening Mascara. Oh my god this mascara is amazing. Now I'm just going to tight line the eyes. So 
So that's it for the eyes. Very simple, very wearable. I love the way it turned out. I am going to repeat the same thing on the other eye. Now I'm going to move on to blush. Uh, for blush, I'm going to use this one from Essence. Uh, this is called Blush Up and it's in the shade Pinky Flow. And I'm actually going to use a fan brush to apply this. Uh, so I'm just going to take a little bit. I'm going to apply a little bit more of that bronzer. And then I'm going to highlight using the same Lacme palette. For lipstick, I'm going back to one of my old favorites. I still love it. It's from Kat Von D and this is in the shade Lolita. So this is it. This is the finished look. It's really easy. You can recreate this and it just looks slightly different than your usual look if you're wearing winged liner every day. At least it's for me because I tend to wear winged liner a lot and this is just like a reversed version of it. And for those of you who like wearing kajal a lot, I think this is a nice change. You can just like extend the kajal and make a nice wing eyeliner out of it. And I think it just looks like you've put in a little bit extra effort and yeah this is the finished look it's very wearable let me know what do you guys think about it in the comments down below as usual please subscribe to my channel for more videos and makeup tutorials like this and i will see you in my next